Hey everyone, today we get to play on Battlefield of Eternity. Looks like the enemy team gets first pick, first ban. We got the one win with our two teammates. They have left, so we're now back on our own. Looks like we have a healer, ranged bruiser, ranged, and I guess LB tank. Alright, Battlefield Trinity, so it's gonna... Oh, look, Bismarck, who's our bruiser, is our team captain, so he's the one that's gonna be in the solo lane. And who can we play? Murden's probably decent here. We'll see. We'll see if we can. Bismarck. And I guess I'll show this. Mm. Oh, sorry. Q H I R A. Kira. Or not? All right. Well, it's not bad so far. Oh, this is my jail. Dun, 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 dun. Most For the next All right. Getting our two damage dealers out. Vala very good on this map. Orfeo is a questionable decision. The only reason why is because with your, like, Vala, because she is very good on this map, so you want to pick her up. The Orphea is interesting because usually you try, you try to leave your ranged assassins to counter the enemy team. So that's why you always want, as your first three picks, like, the enemy team's got, which is Lucio, Johanna, Li Ming. Very good first three picks we don't know where they're gonna go they sell their soul lane up and they have their second damage dealer up so they could go with uh, another mage they could go with a um another tank probably not though they're probably gonna go with a ranged damage dealer Hanzo um Zul'jin, Tychus they could go with Sylvanas. Like, there's so many good options for them. I'm gonna lock in mine, and then uh, should have locked in healer. All right, now the enemy team gets to counter Imperius. Interesting. So, I said that they could go with another tank, which they did, which I was not expecting. This guy needs to either be a damage dealer or soul lane. There it is, damage dealer. So, one of these guys is going to be the soul lane. I'm guessing Stitches? But we'll see. The Tychus is going to melt Imperius and myself, but Vala can melt Tychus. We'll see, how, we'll see how it goes. This should be rather interesting. Leeming for the long range poke. Hmm. We are gold for. Not bad for ending off the season gold five. Had to kind of be carried though, but that's fine. All right. We are obviously going to go with a Q build, especially for um, our uh, immortal damage, because Sledgehammer does more damage to non-heroic units. So we'll try to do that. Dun, 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 dun. 
Stitches Johanna should give me some pretty good targets for my Q. Uh, Li Ming, Lucio will be a little more difficult to hit. Those are wave clear. Orphea is pretty good at wave clear, and Vala can be good too. We're gonna go perfect storm. Do, do, do. Let's move my mic away from my face a little bit. It looks like I'm peeking a slight, so sorry for that. The battle begins in the hot ten seconds. Five, four, three, All right. two, one. Let's go out. Okay. I can just walk away from this. Whoop. And we'll just chill out here. Well done. The hunt begins. Wow. Is getting taken down. I'm gonna quickly just come up here just for the soak. Don't want to lose out on any of that. Okay, down we go. They are getting that a little early, in my humblest of opinions, but perfectly fine. Okay. Healing up. Getting another stack. We're at six. That sucks. Looks like she rolled the wrong way. Nicely done. Alright. We can probably attack. Yeah, Vala's attacking, we're defending.
Nicely done. Oh, very close. But no cigar. I do have my ability to grab this. Do that, move all the way up. Imperius should go bottom. Pick up that soak. Back all the way out, and we are going to go give him the axe. Level 8 to 7. How many stacks? I'm at 21. Just back away, guys. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with just running away. Ah. Mess that up. Okay, let's go this. Nicely done by the enemy team. to go ahead and do that. There. Alright, defensive positions. Just backing away. There's nothing we can do. They have level 10. Alright. Vala's coming. Yeah, she's still not here, so we should just back away. Nicely done. Oh. 
Alright, well that sucks. We didn't really get anything with that. I was gonna say at least we got something, but we really didn't get nothing. But hey, uh, it's not over yet. I'm going to quickly tap. Well, it looks like we're giving up the objective. Like we had a very decent... We had a very decent, um, full, like, you had a full shield and more, pretty much. Okay. I gotta run, gotta run. And... Backing all the way out. We have a slight advantage in the top lane now. No, you're not. Okay. Uh, 
Alright, and there goes our... Is he going Q build? He is not. As the shadows shift, so do I. Alright, backing away. Okay. Um Let's get it on. There, saved that. GG. sucks uh, but hey it was well done by the um, Tychus he was definitely focusing me which made me so I couldn't actually hey go for it not bad so I couldn't actually focus or I couldn't actually stay there for long and then the Vala didn't went with a completely wrong build for the map um, so I had two kills, five assists, one death, 50,356 in siege damage, 31,517 in hero damage, 25,338 in self-healing, 84,438 in damage taken. Um, not sure what else we could say. So you can see here the Vala build, she went with Caltrops, uh, Creed of the Hunter, Repeating Arrow. So you just want to go Q build, um, at Strafe. I uh, generally don't want to go strafe, especially against uh, double frontline uh, and the Lucio. If you go with um, Reign of Vengeance, it's a, just an extra stun. If anything, you can stun out Stitches when he tries to come up at you. Uh, after here, the Manticore is fine. Tempered Discipline. Um, 
that's fine as well. Uh, level 20. Most likely the uh, extra range, far flight quiver. Um, yeah, it was, she just definitely went the wrong build. And that's why, like, I thought we would have won the race a little bit more if, um, especially the when um, we had four defending and we were defending them for quite some time, but Vala just wasn't getting damage out just because she wasn't getting the damage out. By the way, um, my build obviously didn't work out um, as the tank. Um, I could have gone with like third wind and a uh, little bit more tanky, but I thought this would be uh, better for um, the immortal damage, which apparently I was the immortal damage. So it made it rather interesting. But uh, let me know what you guys think and what we could have done a little bit better. And have a great day.